Hey everyone, in this video I'm gonna walk you through a shortcut that I built that works entirely from Siri, plus you can use every single day. It's called Agenda, and I set it up with Siri so that whenever I ask, what's my day look like, she then responds. Here's your agenda for today. Your overdue reminders are, drafts article, write about map beta. Your upcoming reminders are, scoop the litter, which is due Friday at four o'clock. Here are your events for today. Golden State Warriors at New York next which starts at 4.30 p.m. and ends at 7.30 p.m. Okay. And there you go. Let's jump right in. What I wanna do with Agenda is have Siri look at all of the things that I have due today and then read them back to me. As I mentioned before, sometimes it's easiest to start with the end of the shortcut and then work your way towards that goal. I'm gonna end with show result having Siri tell me all of the things that I have to do today. Then I'll go in and add some calendar events because I want to make sure I have everything from my schedule. And I want to get all the people whose birthdays are today so I can make sure to wish them a happy birthday. And I want to check my overdue reminders and my upcoming reminders. So I'm going to add in find reminders and get upcoming reminders. Now I have all this data in here, but it doesn't actually do anything yet. So I'm going to have to set up filters for each of these. We're going to go ahead and add some filters to find reminders to get only those that aren't completed and only those where the due date is before current date. And then I'm going to go in and repeat with each of them so that I can iterate through the list. Within this repeat loop, I want to add in just the right information from each of those reminders, so I'm going to place a text action and then start working with some magic variables. So since items get passed into this repeat loop, there is now a repeat item that you can use within each of these. And here you can see the magic variable details that this is captured from each of them. There's a title, due date, priority, is completed, completion date, and so on, just like the filters from up above. Here I'm just going to get the title. And I also want to make sure that if there's any notes, I add that along to the end too. I'll add in a little colon so that Siri speaks it nicely. And then at the end of this, she'll basically have each of my incomplete reminders read out with the title and notes. Now that I'm done building this portion, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure to add in my little message so that Siri can read it properly. Your overdue reminders are. And then I grab the repeat results to get all of the information passed out from this repeat loop earlier. So there we've got the reminders. Let's get the upcoming ones and do the same thing just in case I'm gonna add up to 10. Then do the same thing. Repeat item, just get the title, which is due at, and add in the due date, and let's keep it nice and short with the date formatting. Then here, you can add in the text again, and go ahead and say your Coming reminders are repeat results. Put it on a new line so it looks nice if she's just displaying the text. And then finally, find contacts. I want to go in and just find the birthday plus birthday who is current date. And then, just in case there are multiple people whose birthday is today, I'm going to repeat with each. Now we can see a little bit of weirdness here because for some reason this repeat item is thinking that there's reminders passed in, but they're actually contacts. And so here is actually a helpful way to change magic variables. You go in here and tap this little repeat item as reminder, and then you can change the content type. I'm gonna go up to contact to make sure that's accurate. Then you can see it pulls in all those details that we need right here. I'm just gonna get their first name. And add it here. Today you should wish these people a happy birthday. And now to keep things going, I'm going to look at the calendar events. So to start date is today, and then we're just going to repeat with each again. And then here, show text. Whoop, getting a little crazy on me. Then we're gonna put in the repeat item again, and it does seem that I'm actually coming across a bug where this thinks this is reminders every time, but thankfully it gives me a good way to demonstrate calendar events. So here, calendar event, event title, 
which starts at repeat item start date only the time let me fix that spelling and at repeat item gotta fix it again and then end date only the short time I'm gonna add in another text action to give Siri the right speaking words. And then she says, here are your events for today. And then down here at the end, we can add some natural language for Siri to read out loud. Here is your agenda for today. I'm gonna use magic variables here and go back and retrieve that information. Your overdue reminders, your upcoming reminders, birthdays, and calendar events. Now see, you can see here that just four text variables that all say text isn't actually that helpful. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename these. Overdue, upcoming, birthdays, and events. Here there's also a reveal action, so if you ever get lost at which variable is which, you can go ahead and tap this, and it'll take you back real quick and show you. There we go. Let's just go ahead and run it to see what it looks like as a preview. Ooh, apparently I have some overdue reminders. So here you can see clearly this is too much information, so I might need to curate this down. I'm going to go back and add some more filters. So once you can see here is once it hits too many reminders that don't have due dates, it just starts getting those that had no due dates. So I'm gonna go ahead in here and then just replace this for fine reminders and build it myself. Is not completed. And those that due date is after right now. And this should accomplish basically the same thing. You can actually see that there wasn't any overdue reminders, so I'm going to actually go ahead and add in some logic real quick and put a count action here, plus if, so that it can count the number of reminders, and then if it's greater than zero, that means there are some, and you should continue, otherwise do nothing. And then the other thing that I noticed was I had too many all-day calendar events, so I'm just going to go ahead and set is not all day. There's also some issues with the logic of people who didn't have any birthdays today. So I'm going to go ahead and do another if here and say if is greater than zero, otherwise nothing. So now let's run this again. And there you go. So the last thing that I finally noticed is that these aren't in the right order. And so I'm going to go ahead. One last final tweak to my shortcut is add in a filter so that all of those are sorted by the due date where the oldest is first because I want to make sure I get everything overdue done first. And there we go. Looks like I should start on that drafts article. And that's how I set up that shortcut. Just to recap real quick, I set up how to get information into your shortcut how to repeat through all of those and set it up so that Siri can say it nicely. And then I also showed you how to fix it if something is going wrong. Plus we uncovered a bug or two. As you can see, you need to add it to Siri once you're done building it, but then you can use it on a daily basis and get some helpful information right away. I'll link to this shortcut in the description below where I've actually made a few more changes since I filmed this, but you'll see it's pretty much the same thing. Until next time, have fun building shortcuts.